Up first, as the city of Knoxville continues to work toward creating more affordable housing, it's also trying to figure out how to make this housing equally accessible to all residents. The city has released its draft Fair Housing Equity Plan to set specific goals to decrease racial disparities in the housing market. Six on your side reporter Ella Wales learned what these goals are and joins us now with more. Ella. Lori, Don, some of the main goals outlined in the plan are to further integrate Knoxville neighborhoods, remedy the harm done by urban renewal, and prioritize economic development in lower opportunity areas. The equity plan is more about fairness and access to housing, not really related to a particular structure or how our structure is built. It's mainly the patterns, making sure that you know, the, there's intentionality in your policies that brings about fairness and access to housing. Part of fixing the housing crisis is making new housing opportunities equally accessible to all and decreasing housing segregation. I think the city has an opportunity to forge a new future and a future that's more equitable for all. Knoxville resident and housing advocate Aaron Jernigan has been pushing for housing options that fit every individual and family's needs. Ultimately, we need to promote different types of housing um, to meet our needs. Not everyone can afford to, to build, to maintain a sprawling single family home. Though the equity plan addresses access to housing rather than specific building plans, previous measures like the city's missing middle housing plan can help achieve its goals. Four recommendations are outlined in the plan, one of which is to establish a centralized housing resource center. Some cities, um, there exists a place where you can make one application for housing and not 10 to 10 different apartment complexes. You know, so housing resources could be a place where there's intake, they do the, the credit check one time, and then it goes to multiple. Uh, you know, that's an idea that we're pursuing. The drafted plan also looked at KCDC's role in deconcentrating poverty in its programs and sets a goal to improve the range of options available to those using housing choice vouchers. It's been very difficult for families to identify housing through the voucher program because they are reliant. We are reliant on private landlords to lease to our voucher holders. If we can, at least with a portion of the units, attach project-based vouchers to those units, it essentially reserves those units for a 20-year period and makes them available to our residents. The city will hold a public input meeting about the plan on Wednesday at the Cancer YMCA at 6 p.m. All right, Ella, thank you. All the public comments that the city receives, by the way, will be included in that final plan, which is expected to be finished in March.